local election headquarters, the day is finally here. President Trump set to arrive in Evansville this evening. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. And I'm Brad Bird. Well, the day is finally here. Up to 11,000 people are beginning to make their way into Ford City Center. Many have been waiting for hours overnight. Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett is live at Ford Center right now. Brandon is inside where things are still being set up for the big rally tonight. Brandon? That's right, Brad. The excitement is now moving from outside to inside. Let me get out of the way to show you here. There you can see the podium where President Trump will be speaking later tonight. The national presidential seal is not there yet. That's because he has not arrived yet. But you can see many people have arrived here waiting for his rally tonight that will begin around 725. The doors open around 330 today. That's about 30 minutes earlier than we expected. There is a large crowd that is filing in. Every one of them going through Secret Service security to get inside the building. You can see a lot of red hats, a lot of Make America Great Again signs. There's even a big sign, Evansville welcomes President Donald J. Trump here. As you said, Brad, around 11,000 people are expected to pack into the Ford Center today. It's kind of seating in the round here. There will be people behind the president, people in front of the president, and people on both sides. And one of the things I've really noticed as you take a look there at the podium, the last time, candidate Trump was here in town. He did not have a teleprompter tonight. The President Trump will be having a teleprompter. I'm sure that is to keep him on script. The White House likes to do that. He does have teleprompters here tonight for tonight's speech. We will be here, talk to some of these people who are coming in about their excitement to for seeing a sitting president here in Evansville. For now, Shelley, Brad, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot, uh, Brandon. And we just saw uh, some video of Air Force One departing Andrews Air Force Base. So it appears uh, the president's departure from Washington is running about 20 minutes behind.